what we're going to do is we're going to put up some acoustic panels, which I prepared yesterday. I'm going to turn off the game sound to the stream while we do this so that you can hear actually how god awful this audio sounds currently without without these panels much bigger than i thought they were they're kind of like twice the size of like the usual foam panels people usually buy off like amazon and stuff so even if i just go like this that's so much better already if it's like please stop reflecting sound in various areas you can like tell the difference already what I noticed while I was unpacking these actually is that, so there's a layer of foam, right? Which helps to like bounce sound, but there's another layer underneath that. So you can kind of see in the light, there's another thin layer here. And that material is actually, I'm fairly certain the same type, it's a lot thinner, but I'm pretty sure it's like the same type of acoustic paneling that I actually use in my voiceover booth. So these should be pretty good quality if it's something that you're looking at. I'm gonna chuck some of these bad boys up. Mounting, oh my God, there's screws and things. I thought maybe we would just stick them. Yeah, okay, there's also sticky tape. Which way do we put them though? Because you can put them whichever way you bloody want. I'll just chuck them up and if it sounds shit, we'll move them because we have other tape. It's not like we're using the, the nails, right? The screws. Winging it. I was keen to have like a live comparison of how this might affect this, the audio. What's happening happened. Yes, I'm at Arthur's place at the moment, um, setting up my, this is my office in his house so that I can, I can come and visit more often and still be able to work and stuff. Unfortunately, I did have to give up some pretty significant jobs literally the day after I arrived here to be expected. If you're a freelancer and you wanna get work, just go on vacation because you will get enough work for the past six months that you just missed when you can't actually do it. <laughs> if we put one here, what does this sound like? And if I put one here, what does this sound like? Like I can literally hear it with my ears already that like where the echoes are coming from. So definitely here and behind the desk because that's a big one because I'm talking this way. So this in front of me behind the camera will absorb my voice that's just getting smashed against this wall and then reflected all around the room. I'm, hugging, I'm coming in for a hug. You ready? Small bean life. Best hug, yeah, you're welcome. Now we have to do most of these tests with the door closed because usually when I'm working, the door will be closed. I think we're gonna need to put one on the door because the door's like a piece of paper. We're gonna have to replace it eventually. It's still pretty echoey in here. This is the after of what the sound sounds like with all of the things up. If there is a difference, I have no idea. I can still hear myself echoing. Actually how god awful this audio sounds currently. I don't know yet how it sounds. I'll have to have a listen back to the recording later on and see what I think. I can feel the reverb in this room. So I know it's there. <laughs> it is very much there. But when I open the door, it's significantly reduced because all the sound waves just go and like disperse out the open door. But I can't really rely on just having the door open all the time. But it is nice because also the breeze comes in and out. But when people are in the kitchen, it's very loud. Anyway, that's the Elgato wave panels that we've set up. Maybe the this microphone does kill the reverb a little bit because I can definitely feel the reverb like when I don't have my headphones on but when I have my headphones on it doesn't feel like it's as present. This room is very small, very square and very bare. I can still hear myself echoing and those three things together 
is not good for the sounds. The Elgato Wave Panels, 10 out of 10. They're so friggin' good quality. And they they do an amazing job of like dampening and, and stopping reflections of sound and stuff. Absolutely. It's just that this room needs like a lot of work um, to to kind of handle all of that stuff. So if you're someone who has like an already furnished room, so like you stream from your bedroom or you have a, like another office or a living area that has like rugs, blankets, um, couches, you know, clothes, wardrobe, that kind of stuff. And then you just have like some bare wall um, here and there around you that can cause a little bit of echo. Hello from Future Kerry. I was trying to say here that if you are in that situation that I was just talking about, then the Elgato wave panels will be perfect for you in those extra spare spaces. But this clip cut off. So yeah. Hi. Welcome. Okay, bye.